Hello, and welcome to our very first episode of a Lotro Battle. Okay, you guys, so in this first episode, I feel like it'd be appropriate to do one of the Great Barrow instances. In this playlist, again, I already have an introduction video, so you know the gist of this playlist, but we're basically going to focus on doing um, either an instance, a dungeon, well, instance and dungeon are interchangeable, so it's an instance, a raid, which is a very large group effort with lots of people, a skirmish, which is a type of capture the flag, or capture a point kind of thing, or a um, epic battle, which is usually like battles of Rohan, like the Pelennor, or like the Helm's Deep, or in Gondor, the Pelennor Field battle in front of Minas Tirith. Those are the epic battles, right? So they're different things. Today we're going to just do an instance. We're going to do one of the great Barrow instances. Now, Usually the instances have a location in the world, so don't forget that. There's always a location in the world. So for the Bar Great Barrow, you actually can go to the Barrow Downs, which is left of... Let me get rid of the flags. So it's left of Bree Town, right? The Great Barrow, we're going to click that. The Great Barrow, the actual Great... Uh, we can go to the south, uh, the southern Great Barrow, so we're going to go to the south. There is the Great Barrow. So if you go to this spot, there will be a, a little glowing door. It would have like it has kind of like the almost the eye of Sauron, but it's real faint and it's clear. It looks like you can walk through it. You walk into it, and it'll it will open your quest, um, your instance finder, and open the and you could join the instance, right? It'll automatically do your level usually, right? Now I have a video on my my playlist Elotro Guide talking about the instance finder, guys. If you need more info on that, you could check the video. It's like four minutes long. It's really fast, very helpful, okay? So that's the instance finder. Today, you can jump to an instance you've been to or you're the right level for pretty much from anywhere in the world. So right now, I'm gonna open this instance finder down here. You can either click, click this, toggle, toggle the instance finder panel, or you can go here and go to the instance finder panel or do control J, right? Those are the ways you can get to it. So I'm gonna open that up. We're gonna do an instance. And basically my goal will be to run the instance. I'll do voiceovers for any heroes or villains that we find in the instance while we're going through it. And because our voice of the rings channel, I'm solid iron shield, right? And then we'll, and I'll show you, also tell you my mechanics. So I've ever do it with a group, like it's a raid and I need a lot of people to do it with. I'll be telling you what our mechanics are and you could even listen in if we have voice things. You know, I'd let people know if we did that in the future. But just ideas, right? But we're gonna do the Great Barrows. There's actually, they split the Great Barrows into three instances. We're gonna do Sambra, where we get to the end and fight the main boss, all right? So it, it you can usually change the size of how many people or what tier level. You can do that for this particular instance. You can change the level though. Right, so you can you have to have six people, but you don't if you're super high level and you lower the level a lot. So we're gonna do that just so we can do the instance for fun. I'm gonna make the instance for level 80. I'm level 130. I should be able to do that. It's a level easily be able to do that. We're six level, um, you know, it, six eight eight level 80 people. You need six to do this instance easily, right? You might be able to get away with four, maybe if you're a really well tuned group of fighters that work together really well, but um. Anyway, so then you click launch, it's gonna pop up. It's telling me it's for level this, it's a, a size of fellowship, which is six people. And then the tier difficulty is one and it's for level 80. It says I get 1% marks and I'll get even a, close to 100% because I'm so under leveled, but that's okay. So travel now and we're gonna do our first instance together. And there's usually voice six. Arthur and Groth, the great Barrow, the oldest and largest of the Adain mounds within the Barrow Downs and home to some of the most terrifying servants of the Witch King. All right, guys, so this is kind of stuff we're going to do, right? So these are the, this is what this playlist is going to be about, going through these instances and raids and stuff. And sometimes there's one raid that has an actual... Oh, my gosh, it was the co it's the coolest thing I've ever seen in this game. It has an actual dragon, and he's, like, looking for you. You're going down these tunnels in this cave, and he's, like, peering his eye in. And he's, like, <laughs> like blowing fire to holes trying to get us. It's crazy. And he's, like, a huge dragon. He's, like, almost smog size, so it's insane. So anyway, that's another raid for the future. Just to, you make your mouth water for things for the future, you know? But this instance is cool. This is the Barrow Whites. The Witch King caused these, all these spirits and undead and all this stuff, right? So usually you walk down, and I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go at the beginning here. They used to have it as a really big maze, but they split the instance up. It used to be there was no instance finder, and you had to go in, and you had to like do it over like three hours because you do all of it. Now they split it into three different instances and you can just join it, right? So there they split it up a little. It didn't make it quite so amazing. Okay, so we got some Barrow White spawning. See, he's got 67,000 health, but since I'm level 130s, it doesn't even matter. Bop, you're dead. 
Okay, so now there is dread in this instance. This is the thing I talk about in my how-to guides and learning the game in my Elotro guide series. Dread is important, especially instances. Usually I can't have something to counteract it. I have a small horn that I can blow that can counteract it a little bit. See, my it went back up. The red went off a little bit. So there's more of them spawning. They kill these. Baruch Kazad! Baruch Kazad, I meant you. Any, anyone else? Want to fight a dwarf? There are too many. No, man. Yes, I will be doing voices for their scary lines. Sometimes they'll have voices in these instances for things, and then I won't do anything. But if they don't, I'm your voice of the rings! All an iron shield! I will do the voices. And I'll try to make the instances as quick as possible. Aha! But they're going to be longer than my normal 20-minute episodes on a Lotro Tale series, which is my main point of this channel. Because the instances usually... Ugh. Why are there... Ugh. There's bar Paro guys. and there's freaking hands coming at us. Disgusting. Die hand. Okay, anyway. Can we go in here? So that's the way we can go. This is where we're supposed to go. Alright. Isn't this a cool place, though? And by the way, I won't be able to get rid of the side stuff, even though I'll keep it small, because I need it, because I'm fighting. Hello, chilled Barrowite. Whoa! That was chilling as that. Ooh, ouch. Oh, I evaded. I evaded. They're so low level, I do a lot of dodging and evading. Kazan, I menu! Solid Iron Shield! Slaughtering Barrowites! Alright. And guys, I will explain mechanics to you over time and how my abilities work. If you guys would like that, leave that in the comments. Right now, we're just gonna get rid of this instance. I don't wanna, like, flood you on the first episode of this. And I won't do them as actual episodes, I should have said at the beginning. They're going to be titled. The, the instance or raid or scrimmage or epic battles name because I'm only going to do it like usually once right so that I can't go through that door it was locked so that must have been like an old way to go you know for one of the other instances so let's go this way it's kind of like a maze as you can see with the map kind of cool though dude really cool how they did I love how they did it though dude it reminds me of some like Egyptian or Greek tomb or something so there was a ghost there and some barrel whites and now they're dead I think I might have just had to kill them maybe it'll open up now do I have to get something in here wait is this open it says there's a room back there can I like break this huh maybe not will this open now Sorry, uh, I apologize, everyone. Uh, I don't know. Oh, there we go. That's where we're supposed to go. <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> I've done this so many times. I'm like, I'm lost. I haven't done it in like two years. Give me a break, guys. All right. Gaunt battle callers. They usually cast abilities and knock you out. But I have a counter ability to do call. Turn the tables. And I basically get up and I hit someone and, and knock them out. It's pretty cool. These guys would be so hard to do with a max level. Like this fight. There's so many ads. Adds meaning multiple units you're fighting. The darkness take me. Sorry, I didn't get to do that voiceover. I do it real quick. I'm pretty sure I have to kill everything. In the box. Baruch Kazan. So this is sweeping cut. It's an AOE ability. Again, if I say AOE in this, you need to know the terminology, guys. That is area of effects. A lot of abilities. My, as a guardian, most of my abilities are rather close range. They're within 10 meters. Which is, I almost am touching them if I reach my axe, like, all the way out. That's the 10 meters about in this game. So, like, for example, I'm standing, like, 4 or 5 meters from this thing. So I can reach, you know, from there with some of my melee abilities. Seems a little far, but it's just how the mechanics of the game work. There's a lot of technical stuff in this game, you guys. That's why I have a whole playlist on a Lotro guy. That's why I split it up, too. I've got a Lotro Tale, which is the fun voiceover series. And I got a Lotro... Why can't we get... It says it's locked. I thought I had the key to that. You usually earn the keys over time. Is there any more monsters over here? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I have to go back to that other door now? See, this is why they can be very confusing, these instances. And again, while you're watching me, blunder through. Oh, now the door opened. See? So that's. I had to do that room to make this door open. That was the door that originally couldn't open. Ah, oh, okay, prowlers. These are gross. They spew all that gunk. Oh, we got some ancient accursed fell spirits. How about have a roar of my dwarven might? 
See, this is really easy, you guys, because I have so more levels, because I just want to show you the instance. Granted, I could try to get a group together and do this instance. Oh, you see how it, it opened once I beat him? The stone went down? That's kind of cool. Oh, man, look at this room. Dang. The ancient barrows. So, but originally, these were the barrows of the kings. That's why they're usually dressed really nicely. Like, right? Or a different royalty, maybe, or something. And the witch king basically corrupted them all with magic and raised them from the dead. Gross. Of course, they weren't raised in a nice way. They're raised as cursed and forever to be zombies, basically. So, I'm putting them to rest by taking them rid of them, right? You know? Your life shall be mine. Not on my watch, it won't. Someone just knocked me out. Oh man, I'm super knocked out. And I can only get unknocked out if someone gets close enough for me to use turn the tables. Maybe this. Ah, the hand's coming for me, guys! Ah! ah get away from me, hand! Alright, he's dead. That was unneeded. Uncalled for. Arrow! Fire! Hadad, Right. Ah, hands! I have a lot of AoE skills, by the way, as a guardian. So, like, Vexing Blow can hit five targets, Sweeping Cut can hit seven targets, Whirling Retaliation, where I spin the axe around my whole head, that's, uh, he can hit five targets. I have my Roar, can hit three targets, Four Chant does light damage. This Roar can hit, um, seven targets, but it doesn't do damage, but it's a Force Taunt. So they're forced to attack me for five seconds. That's a good thing as a tank, you need that. Oh, they're throwing like spirit stuff at me. Ah! I don't know what they just threw on the ground, but if you see something like that, then they see it's damaging me and giving me dread, you don't want to stand on that guy's hands. So usually there's mechanics to an instance. Those has damaged me for now! Whoa. Ooh, I hit that guy for 100,000 damage. Not bad! <laughs> I don't even, I need to get my gear better on this character. I should have like 400, 500,000 health on this character as being max level like this. Okay guys, here's the boss. We're already here. This this video will not be super long. <laughs> Sabrog, the White Lord. Welcome, you have come quite far to end such a meaningless existence. Oh yeah, have a turn. Uh, I'm gonna try to kill him slow. Gosh, he's got a lot of HP even for level 80. Holy moly, 340. He's got probably got millions of these normally. I want to hear his voice lines. So I don't want to kill him too fast. These barrows belong to me, fools. So normally you'd have to kill these guys because they'd be healing him if you were like doing mechanics in the game. So yeah, they're like shooting that beam of light. That's a mechanic in, in this instance. So you'd have to go kill these guys. That will be the last death you cause, fool. Oh, we're lagging. Something froze. Well, I don't know why the game froze, but it did. It'll catch up. There we go. We caught him. Right, let's finish him off. Whoa, he didn't say anything. No! How can this be? Maybe he says something like that. Ha ha! We are victorious! We can cheer. Cheer on top of his grave. Wait. It's gonna let me cheer? There it is. Ha ha! We did it, everyone! Our very first instance. Granted, it was way under level for us. And I would... I would recommend. So you normally this is the loot chest. You go, now there's a couple different things you can free for all where it just gives it to everyone. And it'll always split. Holy moly, that music is getting way too loud. We're gonna bring that way down. Alright. We'll finish this episode now. It was epic for the moment, but the music was getting way too loud. Alright, so your raid leader or instance leader, whoever's the person in charge of your fellowship or raid, 
he will usually put it either on like a loot master where he chooses who he gives it to and everyone can like do slash you can actually type in your little thing down here if you can look at the bottom here i could do slash forward slash roll uh oh you have to be in a fellowship or ready to use it but basically what it does is it just rolls a random number out of 100 right and you could change it by adding something at the end for a bigger number gap but everyone just rolls slash and it does it out of 100 and whoever's you know the highest usually gets the item if they want it or he'll give you know if there's only one guardian in the group and the items for a guardian he'll give it to a guardian or he'll give it to the minstrel you know what i mean that kind of thing that's how usually like a good leader will do it um there's also like a, a greed loot system where it'd be like a uh, pass greed need system where it basically pops up on your screen a bunch of them and you can either click need like you you really need that item you just want to want it, but you don't need it, which is greed. It's the middle one. Or pass. Like, I don't need that item. Someone else can have it. Right? Then you just click pass. So there's that option. And then there's just the the roll pass, which basically cops up. And it's you can roll for the item, which means it'll automatically just roll. And whoever wins the roll, clicks roll, will be in it. Or you can say pass. You won't be put into the roll. But you'll be, that's another th mechanic in the instance for end. You know? And then there's, of course, there's just free for all where everyone can just loot the, the chest. And whoever loots it first gets all the stuff. And then when you do loot it, no matter what, everyone gets a certain amount of stuff. For example, if you look at what I just got, it'll explain what I just got. I got in this. I got 111 silver, so it would have been split among... If there was more people, that would have probably been split I, between six people. But I got all of it. But then everyone will get a veteran's mark that you can sell for more money at the store. Oh, I got a Tome of Might, too. That's kind of cool. Um, that's actually something I could probably talk about in a low trip guide video later, but basically that's a permanent stat bonus bonus, but you have to have the right rank to level up the next one. So you have to might sat one first and then you have to get two and there's like all the way up to like 18 or 19 and each one increases a passive amount of might you just have on your character at all times, even without any gear or anything. It's just your character has more, right? That's just a passive thing you can earn. So that's what that says. Um, I got a... A sealed gem. This is for the legendary items where you get you get the the seals and the um the settings and stuff that you can put in your legendary item. I have a video on legendary items if you want to check that out on the Lotro Guide series if you're confused about that. Um, then I got one again a, a rune that gives XP to a legendary item. There are items that grow with you over time and a relic, same thing. Something for a legendary item gives you stuff. And it gave, and I got a crossbow, and it's a rather good one, but it's for level 80. And it looks like this. Oh, you can't really see it because of my backpack, but it's a cool, it's kind of a cool little, let's see, can I get rid of my backpack for a second so you guys can see the bow? Let's try to look at it one more time. There, so that's the crossbow. See it on my back right there? That's the crossbow I just got. I, it's not very good. Now, here's the cool thing. It's not bound to me yet. Some items, when you pick them up in an instance, they will instantly bound to you. So like right now it says, see how it's bind on equipped? So if I right click it, it's gonna say warning. Equipment, potential, and blah, 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 will bind to you permanently. Do you wish to do this? No, I don't. So if I put it on, basically I'm the only one that ever can use it or I have to just sell it for the cheap silver. It's worth 19 silver. But I could take this weapon since I did an instance and I could put it on the auction hall right now because it's not bound to me yet. And I could sell it for like two gold on the instance, right? On the auction hall, right? To other players. And they might not want to come to the instance and just spend the do gold and be like, yeah, I got my crossbow, right? That I wanted for level 80. You know, that kind of thing. So, um, but then in course, there's some things that you're going to pick up and it'll be bound to you no matter what. Even if it just goes in your inventory, it's bound to you. So you'd have to check. Does it say bind unequipped? And it doesn't say bound to you yet? Versus the look at the bow on the right. See, it says bound to Zolan in the gray. The one that says equipped, that's the bow I have. It's comparing my bows right now my level 130 bow. I can't do anything with that except sell it for 60 silver or break it down because it's a higher level item for a certain enchantment stuff that I can use. I can break it down, but I can't sell that. I can't trade that to one of my other characters, that kind of thing. So that's just good to know. Anyway, so that's the mechanic stuff with looting. Just good for everybody to know if you're doing instances, but I won't always talk about that a lot in this series, in this playlist. All right, guys. Well, that is the instance, the great Barrow instance. Thank you for joining us on this first instance on a Lotro Battle playlist, and I hope you enjoyed it. Please, please, please like the video. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe button's going to be right above me. The next video on this playlist will be over there, and then we'll also have another playlist. I've made the main playlist, a Lotro Tale, over there. So check them out, you guys, and have a great day. I'm your host and guide, Solon Iron Shield. Have a good one.